It's okay, buddy. They're just enjoying some food outside. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Possum. It's okay, buddy. Cinnamon's going to keep an eye out for us. Yeah. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> Look who's back from being inside. Hey, buddy. He was inside all day today. Mm -hmm. Hey. Happy to be back inside, buddy. Yeah. Still cleaning up the spots. He had a little uh, puking incident. <laughs> uh, might leave a stain. I don't know. But I don't really care. Oh, well. yeah, it actually looks kind of. Yeah, whatever. They're still wet, so yeah, we'll, we'll worry about that later. Yeah, it's old carpet. This carpet's old, so who cares, right? Yeah. Want to join your food, buddy? We're taking it easy on the wet food for now because of his incident where he puked all over the house. So <laughs> just in case that makes a bigger mess in the dry food. So yeah, we're on a little wet food strike, if you will. Yeah, but we'll resume maybe tomorrow morning. Yeah. You want to play downstairs, buddy? Come on, let's go down here. We played earlier today when I got home from work. Yeah. Why don't we play? Yeah. Do you want me to go first? Whoa. Something caught his attention. What do you see out there, buddy? What's out there, huh? He's been looking outside at something. There's something out there. I'll get the flashlight and we'll take a look around, okay? Yeah, just in case there's a surprise awaiting us. Okay, we have a flashlight in full power here. Try not to shine my kitty. Alright, let's look. Hmm. I don't see anything, buddy. You look like there's something I want to... Yeah, I don't see anything. Hmm. I'll do a quick sweep off camera. I don't see anything out there. Usually if I saw a creature similar to Cinnabon, that was one of his puke marks that I've cleaned, or <laughs> attempted to clean. Usually their eyes will reflect. Yeah. But I didn't see that out there, no. So I don't know what he'd be going on about. Mm-hmm. Why don't we go downstairs like originally planned, okay? Do some playtime. Hmm? Doesn't look funny without the tree there. Look at all the open space now. Yeah, more room for slumber parties, yeah. Oh, you scared to go downstairs? It's different without the tree, huh? Yeah. Yeah. The puke has cleaned up way better down here. You can kind of see that darker area where it was. And it's still a little dark from when I uh, used the cleaner on it. But, yeah. Hey, little buddy, how'd that get there? Hmm. Want to come downstairs? Hmm? You can come down here, buddy. There's enough room for the two of us, you know. All right. He absolutely shredded more carpet and his that little straw ball <laughs> pretty much destroyed. Yeah. He might be a little tired. We played quite a bit earlier today. Yeah, off camera. Yeah. But I think he's down to play again. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, look at that. Straw ball just went right to you. 
Ooh. I was talking with my mom just minutes ago about, about Cinnamon's little incident puking inside and thinking about in the future. You know, this this house is needing new flooring. The basement's going to stay like this. I'm just, you know, it's a basement, right? I don't really believe in finishing basements like this. I mean, this is a very much a utility type basement, as you can see, with washer dryer, stuff that, you know, not a matter of if, it's a matter of when we'll leak. <laughs> Again, you know, furnace, all that good stuff, water heater. So I don't really think it's a good idea to finish this. This is, you know, you can still chill down here and have a good time. But, you know, if you were to put carpet in here, drywall, it's just a matter of time before there's a problem. I like everything accessible, serviceable, you know, open ceilings, everything down here. And there, of course, that's a more lived-in space or living in space. So I'm thinking probably darker carpet in the lower levels in the bedroom. Obviously, I'm not going to carpet the bathroom because I'm not a psycho. <laughs> or the kitchen that's... I've been in homes that have carpeted bathrooms or carpeted kitchens and it just freaks me out sort of like rugs in the bathroom kind of freak me out i just think it's kind of kind of gross but rugs in a bathroom is different than a carpeted bathroom because you get the rugs you can just throw out or wash easier you know but uh, anyway so i'll probably leave the carpet on these stairs because they get shredded and it's a pretty durable carpet i'm surprised it looks as good as it does it doesn't look really any different from when i moved in over three years ago yeah for the main level I wanted to do this ever since I moved in. I want to get hardwood or laminate. I think it would look really good with everything else. And then maybe throw a couple big rugs down. And the stairs probably... Cinnamon, he's getting better at it, but he still scratches at the, the two other stairways. And I don't know if I want to carpet it. I might put a... See, I don't, usually don't like to put a smooth surface on the stairs because it's more dangerous for slipping. But I might just put, lam I might put laminate on all the steps. That would look weird, though, kind of. All the bedrooms and the little hallways... We'll get carpet, darker carpet. I think darker carpet will look better anyway. And if Cinnamon has a little incident, it'll be better. Yeah, if it's darker, we won't see it as much. So I'll probably carpet the stairs. Worst case, you have to recarpet the stairs. It's not that bad because you. It's like a, a nice sort of natural seam. A little easier to conceal that it's been redone. Oh, I knew he was going to pounce on that. Oh, he's recharging. So it's between laminate or hardwood. Which one to do? Whoa. It's on a roll today. Let's just try to throw this without spearing him. Wow. Maybe not. Maybe we won't throw this. We'll just watch him. You like that straw bar, don't you? You're tearing that thing up. There's pieces all over the place. They kind of stick to your sock when you walk around, too, which is funny. You just love that, don't you, buddy? I think he's getting better at playing by himself because when I'm at work for a while, it is nice for him to figure out how to entertain himself without needing me all the, around all the time. Yeah, because I can't always be here. No. I do watch him on the kitty cameras, though. He's usually on my bed or in his chair downstairs. Or, excuse me, the, the main level. Wow. I didn't realize how good he is at getting that thing out from under there. You're doing a good job, aren't you, buddy? He loves these skeletonized steps. What's weird is my dad has mentioned this too, is there's a lot of space under the steps and there's really not a whole lot of use for it other than what Cinnamon's doing right now. And it's funny because, not that I'm jealous about this, but I cannot get where Cinnamon can go in down there unless I use an object like a broom handle or something or this to get in there. What's terrifying is if you somehow end up, ah, there's no way you can squeeze your head under there, at least for me, my big head, but if you were to get trapped in there, that would be pretty bad. Look at him, he's extremely good. Oh. Oh, this is awesome, I've never seen him do this. That explains why all his toys are always moved around when they go down here. When I'm gone, I know cats can see in the dark, they have night vision. Yeah, not night vision goggles, but like naturally can see in the dark. I leave that light on up there, the one that's all right that one so he has you know a modest amount of light enough to see he probably can see as good as i can see right now with that light on down here in the pitch black yeah you're a good little you got a good little peepers don't you
Hey, what you doing, buddy? What you doing? You're such a good kitty, you know that? You're such a good kitty. When I was just gonna chill. Yeah. Taking her easy. Are you ready for bed, buddy? Okay. Night-night. <laughs>